Hello everybody, it's BRot Tutorials. Gonna bring you a video on how to change the background color in the form view for C Sharp Visual Studio. Now, this works great for making games, anything you want to just change it. Here's an example of a car racing game I made. You can just use the left and right arrows to go back and forth. And as you can see, the background changes colors every time and it gets faster and I'm using timers by doing this and as you can see it goes up to level six show you guys real quick go left and right yeah when you lose it just pops up a message and you double click to try again now this is a really advanced if you guys want to see how to make this game just let me know in the comments below I'll definitely post up a tutorial on that but today I'm just gonna show you guys how to change the background color itself start off by creating a Windows form application change background color all right and all we're gonna do in this video is add in two timers so we'll go one two and if we double click the first timer then it will pull it, pull it up in the code and we're just going to want to go right above that where it says initialize component click enter and initialize our or declare our variable i and set equal to zero and in a previous video I showed you guys how to actually count um, by odds and evens and we're going to use that same method to to count our timer so it makes it go every other We'll go I percentage two when it's equal to zero. We're gonna want the the command for the background is this dot back color. And we're gonna want to set it equal to let's say color dot black. And we're also going to want to keep the timer going. So we'll just go plus plus. And then else. Oops. Else if, if it does not equal zero, then we're going to want the background color equal to, let's say, yellow. So keep the increment going by one. All right, as simple as that. And then we're just going to go back to the design view and double click on this timer and just keep it going. And make sure we enable our first timer where it says timer one. Where you go to properties and enable put true. And to start, let's put our interval at maybe 800. See what this looks like. Okay, so that's what it looks like with a short timer like that. If we wanted to really flash and be careful not to get a seizure during this because it's going to be really fast. But yeah, if you really want to make it trippy, uh, that's what it looks like. All right, just a little simple tutorial for this Tuesday. On Thursday, I'll be coming out with a new video. Um, subscribe to see more content. Put in the comments down below what you'd like to see next. Um, I'm always here to help. Thank you.